we interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in and have a seat. Let's chop it up with you and me. So let's get to it. So we see, we see, we see it time and time again. Who we have here, Mr. No Other Than Bozo the Clown. Corey has got damn so. Corey is going down big. Corey is, to me, in my personal opinion, like I said, it's my commentary. Um, He's going down to and, and down with Sparrow because the fact that he can't seem to leave Carmen alone. Carmen has done moved on. Hopefully, she has done moved on. Um, he had broke up with his girlfriend, Maddie. You know, Maddie, I'll get to her when I'm done. But Corey, Corey, grow up. Corey, grow the F up. Like, you still online messing with the woman. You still online talking shit about the woman. You still online trying to prove a point. What point is the what point can you prove? Because you only showing your true colors. Because what you did to Carmen, now you did it to poor Maddie. And Maddie, what Maddie thought? Maddie thought she was better than Carmen. Maddie thought she wasn't, that she was on a safe zone. Knowing in reality, 9 out of 10, this man has a pattern with all the women he had dealt with. All the women he had been with. And the women he had been with and dealt with, what he did, he trash talked them. He belittled them. Let's not forget about Holly. He did the same thing with Holly. He did the same thing one time with his baby mama years ago. He did the same thing to, well, well, actually, not the same thing. He's currently still doing it to Carmen, his wife. So I don't understand how Maddie thought that she was in a safe zone. If girl, you had to check the pattern, because 9 out of 10, and that's a pattern, you're not in the safe zone. And now you out here looking like boo the fool because you want people to throw a pity party for you when in reality you was talking down and laughing down on another woman pain when she was trying to tell him to stop when he exposed her news when he had you know threw the kids and her out the house and and he tried to like a narcissist do you know try to take themselves out and say oh they ain't had nothing to do with that 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 was not that it was not his you know fault that she lying everything when there was proof in the pudding that he did do her and the babies out his own kids so just to do what to go party to go get you know drunk to go have sex to go mingle and dash with his friends and with other girls so Corey does have a pattern Corey continued to come out here what he did he was on tiktok today he was on tiktok today reviewing carmen song um i forgot the song it's something about um if i'm not mistaken you make diddy look like an angel yeah you make diddy look like an angel so in reality he was doing his own you know breakdown of the song because the song has something to do with him and i feel nine out of ten he knows the shit is real and he continues to try to show proof the proof. What proof can he show? Because he continues to show the same shit over and over again. Corey is a motherfucking fool. Corey, I don't care what no one say, is obsessed with Carmen. He's obsessed with his wife. He know he left a good thing. He let a good thing walk out his hand. And now that she had pushed on, she's making her own money. She has her own place. You know, she finally... You know, pushed on to another relationship where she has not exposed out. I mean, people already know they are dating because allegedly she has the man tattoo on her wrist. You know, but she still haven't made it public of who she's currently dating. You understand? Know it's still in her eyes, you know, low key secretive to her and the significant person that she's dating. So she's trying to do things differently. But Corey is just hurt because she's no longer going back to Corey. She no longer wants nothing to do with Corey. She, you know, she has a a lawyer lawyered up for Corey. And so my thing is, Corey, when is when did you want to stop? When is you gonna grow up? This is the same man that belittle women. This is the same man that talk about low income people. This is the same man that bashes his own race. This is the same man that you know think he's better than that this is the same man that say he's doing god calling this is the same man this is the same man that talk, say, that says a lot of lies and a lot of people fall for the bullshit i don't fall for cory bullshit and the men's like cory bullshit the men that are like cory that talks that bullshit there's women that talk bullshit like cory yes but cory right now is the one talking all the bullshit cory's right now is the one still bashing his baby mother he still has not let her go. He exposed her news, I heard. And that's nasty because that's supposed to be the mother of your kids. That's supposed to be the woman you love. And I, I don't know who, is, who exposed it. 
was it him or Maddie? I don't know. But that was nasty and degraded as a person because you don't do that. Because at the end of the day, she is a human and she has feelings too. So I don't understand how can he feel so comfortable in exposing her news. Now let's get back to Maddie. Maddie or Maddie, I don't know how to pronounce her name or her name correctly. Y'all can tell me Maggie. Y'all can correct me down below. It's either here or there. This is my commentary. How I talk, how I talk. You like it, you like it. You don't, you don't. We can keep it pushing respectfully. So as I was saying, Maddie was going to war back for Corey. Maddie was, I heard, paid for his divorce. I heard signed for, for the divorce. I heard now she's currently pregnant by him, which I really think, you know, it could be from another person or it could be from Corey. I don't know. I wasn't there in the bedroom that, you know, when they two decided to make a baby, whoever she decided to make a baby with. But I know there's a, a little age of supposedly, allegedly, a little bundle of joy coming into this world. And I'm not going to talk about no kids, but at the end of the day, Maddie, you looking like a fool because you're no different than Carmen. He was just using you up as a cover-up to cover his feelings, to, to you know, make himself feel like he could get over Carmen. When in reality, he has said that, you know, he just got out. He was still married. He was, you know, filing for divorce. He was not looking for nobody. But then it came. I don't know how it transpired. Y'all started dating. But that's to let you know that it, it was not going to be nothing serious because he still has feelings attached for Carmen. He has to. And listen, Corey's obsessed with Carmen. I don't care what nobody say. That's giving me obsession. Because if you still talk about the girl, the girl had done moved on with her life. And now you're saying she has a. Uh, uh, work on you like voodoo on you and everything boy you need help someone needs to call the psychiatric mental institution and see if a if a patient had escaped because Corey is the patient that needs help mentally because he is losing his mind he's losing his mind let your wife be your ex-wife your girl ex girl let her be let her live her life and move on with your life it's not her fault that you cheated when she gave you chances after chances you cheated on her when you was always going on vacation you was fucking other girls while she was home taking care of your kids she made the hush shit too but at the end of the day a woman gets tired a woman's get tired before they exit out the relationship that we exit out mentally and mentally she probably was already out before she was physically out that relationship. She was tired. So at the end of the day, you was the reason why she left. She was tired of your bullshit. She was tired covering up for you. She was tired getting bullied online, having people call her names because she was dealing with your bullshit and covering it up. So she finally, whoever was, helped her get a backbone and see you for what you are. You a player, a manipulator, a narcissist. You are, you know, you have ways to manipulate people as well, too. You understand? You, you, to me, you're a psychopath. I don't give a fuck. I said it. He's a psychopath. And Maddie, I, I really don't feel bad for Maddie, to be quite honest. I give two fine fucks about her because when she came on, she came on too strong. She came on too strong, but little when Carmen. She came on too strong, but in this something that had nothing to do with her. Nothing to do with her at all. And now she has a YouTube, and now she's going to climb a little up because why? Her name is attached to Corey, and the situation that's going on with Corey and I mean Carmen and Corey. At the end of the day, whoever gets with Corey needs to really think it through because at the end of the day, Corey has no respect for no females. Corey has no respect for no female. If he don't respect his mother, he ain't gonna respect none of these girls. He has no respect. He's always bashing females, talking down on females. I have not heard him once talk down on a man and use the same energy that he used on a woman towards a man. Corey is all internet. I ha- Listen, the days, one day is going to come that he's going to cross the wrong man and that man's going to put Corey in his spot. And Corey's going to Corey's going to kiss his ass because why? Corey is not really about that life. Corey is all fucking talk. Corey is listen, listen. Don't let me get me started with Corey. I don't like him, and I don't like him because he's Corey Pritchard. No, I don't like him because how he treats women, how he treats people, how he talks down to people. He's very arrogant. He's very self-centered. 
he's very selfish. He don't care about nobody but himself and his papers. You understand himself and his papers. He likes to throw he likes to throw the woman's flaws and the woman mistakes, but never throw his flaws and his mistake. And then always saying, but the guy put me, God put me on a journey for this. Guy ain't put you on a journey to cheat. Guy ain't put you on a journey to mistreat your wife that you decided to get married to and expose her news. God did not tell you that. God did not tell you that was the devil himself. So at the end of the day. Corey's out here looking like a fucking clown. Corey's out here just being Corey. Corey don't give a fuck about nobody but his fucking self. And I hope Carmen continues to move forward with her life, with her kids, and her new relationship, and focus on herself instead of going backtrack to a man that's not going to do nothing but continuously put her down and take her... Instead of her taking 10 steps forward, with Corey, she's going to take 20 steps backwards. So she needs to stay focused and she needs to continue to apply the pressure on Corey. Corey don't like the medicine that's being given back to him. Corey could dish it, but Corey cannot take it. Keyword, Corey could dish it, but he cannot take it. So at the end of the day, I wish Carmen, and I'm not going to be mean, I wish Maddie the utmost best in life. But mostly Carmen. Carmen, continue to do you. Continue to stay focused. And do not let that man make you lose focus. That's all I have to say about the situation. But other than that, this is my commentary. I wish each and every one of you nothing but love, peace, light, and blessings. Remember, you are you. You are unique in your own way. All, if you have anything like your own your own personal thoughts and opinion on this matter like i always say is always welcome on the comments down below even as we agree to disagree i'll see you guys on my next commentary video
Thank you.